Want to go for an occasion and need to spin off a quick fascinator? This would be a great choice. It's called a pill box or teardrop fascinator. Stay with me as I take you through the steps to make it. It's Nkechi from The Vent, empowering you to create wealth with tutorials on how to make fascinators as well as showing you tips and tricks of the craft and various lovely designs I have made. For this pill box or teardrop fascinator, we would be needing 23 inches of pleated crinoline scissors, a needle with a matching thread, our pill box or teardrop um, fascinator, we needed flower, bias, and our clip. We'd, oh no, we didn't make use of the clip again. What we used was the elastic band. So that's what we'll be needing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sew the edges of the pleated cranial line. Watch as I do it. Okay, we're done with that part so we'll do the same to this other side next step is to do running stitches from one edge to the other of the pleated crinoline so we're going to do it all the way down Okay, we're done with the running stitches. The next is to squeeze our pleated crinoline like so. You squeeze it tight and you set it aside. Next step is to take our teardrop fascinator and attach our elastic band to it. Now, we have to make sure that the thread matches the top of the teardrop so that when we're sewing, it doesn't show. So that's what I'm checking right now. So now, I've seen the thread that matches it perfectly well. I'm putting it in the middle. So when you pass it through the top, ensure that you pass it close to the thread that came out just like that so that no one will see any thread at the top. Did you notice something? Yes, there's a background change. I actually traveled out of base but said I can't deprive you, my lovely subscribers, of your regular tonic. So here I am. For those joining me for the first time, you are most welcome. I'm sure you're gaining value. Please do subscribe and click the bell button below to ensure you don't miss any of my videos that would surely empower you to create wealth. Also, click the like button below to let me know I empowered you today. You see, no thread. Next step is to attach the pleated crinoline to the teardrop fascinator like so. The next step now is to sew the flower on top of the pleated crinoline in a way no thread is on top. Watch and see how I do it. Oh, there's a great opportunity for you to be able to make flower stroke brooches that you can use for such things like what I'm doing now. If you're interested, check the link, the description link below and click on the link so it will take you to the class. Thank you. 
this next steps are showing you how I'm going to use the bias to cover up all the rough edges underneath our peel box so teardrop fascinator There you have it, our pillbox teardrop fascinator.